Birdman responds to Russell Simmons comment saying Cash Money is the greatest hip hop label of all time. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So yeah man, Russell Simmons put a comment out in 2014 and he was asked which label he felt was the greatest hip hop label of all time. And he said a label that definitely is up there but a lot of people maybe wouldn't say it's not the one that you comes to mind the first label you think as the greatest hip-hop label of all time but he said cash money now birdman had an interview just recently and he responded to this and gave his reaction to what russell simmons said check out the clip hey i don't even know if you know this russell simmons in 2014 they were doing tributes to all of the greatest labels and Russell Simmons said the greatest label in the history of hip hop is Cash Money. What do you feel when you hear that? Um, coming from a, a man of that value of the gang, uh, you got to respect it. Um, in 2014, when we was doing that, we respected it, but we still was on a mission. Any kind of compliment or honor you get from this game, you got to respect it because no it's a hard feel, you hear me? So. Uh, 2014, we still, we heard it and we respect it. Coming from a, a, a icon, a legend in this game with nothing but respect for that man. Um, it was another thing, you know, that's, that's motivation for us. We, like I said, we Southern, we, we down bottom. So what we doing, we not even supposed to be doing. The game wasn't built for us. The game came in our lap and we just rolled with it. We took it and ran with it. So. Um, all that's just mo big, big, big motivation for us. And a difference between you and other label leaders like Russell is that you also are a signature artist. And tell me about the formation of Big Timers. Um, yeah, buddy. It's a humble answer from Birdman. You gotta say, very humble. Yeah, and, and when you really think about it, Cash Money is definitely up there, man. Man, I mean, just think about all the labels that have been there, the legendary ones. Def Jam, they're still around, um, but are they really doing big things like with all the biggest artists of the game? I wouldn't say so, but in terms of longevity, you can't front on Def Jam. They had obviously the heyday of DMX, Method Man, Red Man. Eric Sermon, LL Cool J, so many rappers, man. Definitely Def Jam for me would be in like the top three of hip hop all time. Labels, possibly number one, to be honest. Then you got like, oh, you got loads. I mean, you could choose G Unit, but that wasn't like a long lasting label. It just sold a lot in a couple of years. But you know, they did big things for their time Murder Inc., Rough Riders, DMX, Deluxe, Eve. Some great artists came out of there. Rockefeller Records. With that being your top three, I think Rockefeller, it was, in terms of names in hip-hop, is like one of the best names in hip-hop. But if you look at that label and dissect it, who really was the, the megastar that came out of there? You got Jay-Z, obviously. Then Kanye West came at the end. Obviously, he was a big success. And then the other ones are really kind of gold artists. Freeway, Young Guns, all those guys were like, they had a couple good songs, but they weren't. They didn't go international with it. You know what I mean? So as a whole label, I wouldn't. I think Jay Z carried that whole label for years. No one else really broke out of there. Beanie Siegel was probably the biggest outside of Kanye West, and he was a gold artist as well. He didn't have any massive songs. Obviously, Murder Inc. Again, it's similar to Rockefeller. Like ja Rule carried that label. Actually, R M Murder Inc. was definitely the epitome of one artist carrying the whole label who who even knew anyone else from there unless you was a fan of hip-hop and you knew everyone like i did you wouldn't have known about cadillac tar and necessarily and black child that label was just jarro and then ashanti came at the end but you gotta look at cash money as definitely up there i mean they started what in the late 90s in terms of the biggest artists the hot boys wayne juvenile turk and them and even birdman was rapping back then so they had a lot of success in the early 90s. The only thing about back then is 
They weren't the biggest label out. You know, back then, obviously, you got Bad Boy, Diddy doing his thing, Death Row and all that. Jermaine Dupri, So So Death. He had a lot of hits with Bow Wow, The Brat. Let's not forget about that. Jagged Edge, No Limit. They were they were the biggest in the South, I think, at that time, in the late 90s. But then Cash Money, obviously, they got bigger when Wayne went solo. Wayne was carrying the label for a while. Birdman was doing his thing as well. But again, you know, you, you had the... Murder Inks and the G Units and Rough Riders, big artists like Nelly, who was popping in the early 2000s. So, Cash Money was up there, but it just wasn't number one. I don't think it went to being the, the most dominant label until Wayne went into his freakish mixtape era back in like the mid 2000s. That 2005, 6, and 7, though, he just dominated it. And obviously, he came out with that Carter 3 in 2008 and it went ballistic went out the world it, it was crazy that was the only cd i ever bought on the day of its release there's no other cd or music album that came out that i went to buy it as soon as it came out wayne had that type of hold on hip-hop that just elevated cash money into another stratosphere and then the ball was rolling drake came on Nicki minaj and then the young money crew that's when it just spaced, it just branched out. The Young Money, Cash Money. Then they had, remember he had the Rich Gang. They were all branches of Cash Money. And that was that was definitely their most successful period for me. When they had that Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan was there. And it was just crazy, man. They were dominating. Drake was at his beginning. Same with Nicki. They came at the same time. But I think that era of Cash Money, when they branched off and they were just dominating everything is what really solidified them as up there with the Def Jams and those iconic labels in hip-hop. For me, you saw Puffy have that longevity first, like the proper longevity in hip-hop. And you would just naturally say Bad Boy has to be either number one or number two. But you look at Bad Boy and you say, like, yeah, they had a, a bunch of great artists, but all of their artists just had a couple singles. Besides Biggie, Biggie had a couple albums. But you think of Black Rob, you think of G Depp, you think of Loon, Faith Evans. These guys didn't really have, well, Faith had a good career, but the other guys really didn't have a long career, like multiple multi platinum albums. That, that just didn't happen for most of them. It was just the Diddy show. He wanted all the adulation. Yeah, but just to bring it back, Russell Simmons saying Cash Money's number one. I would put them in my top three. I would put probably like off the top of my head. I'll put Cash Money, Def Jam, and maybe Bad Boy as a top three. I wouldn't say Cash Money is necessarily number one, but they're still doing that thing, you know what I mean? So you can't be mad at someone saying that they are number one. But people, I want to know what you lot think. Which label would you put as the best hip-hop label of all time? Or maybe just give me a top three if you can't make one. Leave a comment below, people. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.